once a week from March through the end of October. Visiting scholar at Fordham University, Guy Robinson, checks this contraption to answer one question. What is making eyes itch and noses tingle? It turns once, makes a complete turn in seven days. Located a block and a half from Central Park, this Burkhard spore trap measures pollen in the air. It's the only one in New York City. And every week, Robinson retrieves a piece of adhesive coated plastic tape that catches airborne particles and takes it to his lab for review. So far we've got, uh, well, we've got ragweed that seems to be the most abundant. We've got grass. Um, we've even got a little bit of mugwort. And, oh, and some elm. According to the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology's National Allergy Bureau, this lab is one of approximately 84 pollen counting stations across the United States, and they're seeing some irritating news. Across the country, things are getting sneezier. It's not our imagination. Allergies are definitely getting worse. Dr. William Reisacker is the director of allergy services at Weill Cornell Medicine. Well, the pollinating season is getting longer. We're seeing more rain during the season. We're seeing high, higher levels of carbon dioxide, and all of these have been spoken about as possible causes why pollen levels are getting higher. We've also seen pollen uh, become more allergenic, meaning more likely to cause allergies, so it's becoming more potent. A 2021 study of pollen trends over 28 years found that pollen amounts increased up to 21 percent between 1990 and 2018, with the greatest increases recorded in Texas and the Midwest. And while New York City has not yet seen an extension of the allergy season like other parts of the country, Robinson says that trend won't last too much longer. I would expect it in the future. Um, you know, increase in carbon dioxide does seem to correlate with increase in both amounts of pollen and the allergenic nature of the pollen. 